Hi, my name is Jesse Cataldo and I'm a materials engineer here at Desktop Metal. In our last video we talked about why it was important to debind our parts and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to do. Everything starts off with Fabricate, so let's head over there and check it out. Okay, so here we are in the Fabricate dashboard and you can see that my part is right here, the one that I want to debind. Um, and you'll note this little droplet, which means that it's ready for debind. So I'll select it and I'll create a job. Um, but there's three more parts that I want to debind of the same shape. So I'll come up here to view more compatible parts. Click this and here are the three parts that I want. I simply select them and they get populated on the bottom shelf. Now there are two other shelf options, um, but for right now I'm just going to focus on the bottom one. That's all I need for today. Then I come up here, I select the debinder that I want and I can send that off to the debinder and I can begin the job from the debinder. All right, so I'm over here in front of the debinder and uh, I need to put my parts into it. So I'm going to open up the lid um, and then there is a secondary sealed lid. So I'm going to undo these two locks. I'm going to open it up and you can see it's empty because my parts are not in there. So I'm going to go grab my parts. Gently sit them down in the bottom and then just reverse the steps. So close the lid, lock both locks, lower the outer lid. And then I'm going to come over here to the UI screen. I'm going to select jobs in queue. And then I'm going to see my job is right here at the bottom. Select that and hit start. And so that debind process is going to take about 15 hours. So I'm going to let this run overnight and I'll see you here tomorrow morning. All right, so we let this cycle run overnight and the parts should now be fully debound. I'm going to open it up and take out my parts. And now our parts are fully dried and ready to be sintered. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process. For more information on the D-Binder or the rest of the studio system, head over to desktopmetal.com.